Nigeria is Nigeria's first citizen-led household assessment of learning. Um, we are concerned with learning outcomes in Nigeria and what that portends for the future of the, co uh, the country, economically and socially as well. Nigeria is data deformed uh, because we only talk about issues but we don't have empirical evidence to back them up. But when you go out, you, you see the reasons why people, a 12-year-old girl or, or boy, cannot read and write. Because we met some that were in secondary school that couldn't do this assessment of uh, primary two because we use primary two assessment, primary two curriculum for them. I was so surprised. This is the first time I've seen someone in SS1 that cannot do a primary two, ordinary primary two work. And so Learn Nigeria was initiated by a group of people, notably young people, who were very dissatisfied with the quality of learning in our schools and the outputs and the outcomes of the learning process. You know, it's one thing to have a framework, but we have the responsibility of driving that. And in Nigeria, making sure that our development imperatives as far as education is concerned, shifts from the inputs that we have seen over the last many donkey years to the outputs that we want to see. Traditionally, we're fond of pointing fingers at the government and when students fail, obviously, the government hasn't done its job. But we began to realize that it's a bit broader than that. In a democratic country, which Nigeria is, then citizens are part of the government and the government is part of the citizenry. Government was left alone for spending education, which the body is gradually becoming too much for the government to handle. So such has at least crippled uh, some, the quality of learning in schools. This calls for uh, community and philanthropic interventions so that it may supplement the government effort. Because we are going to continue a step-down training on these issues, we are going to involve the stakeholders, we are going to meet the traditional leaders to talk about them. It is not only the teachers that are responsible for the education or the government that are responsible. No, we should, we too are responsible for our ed education. And so we have begun the assessment with an action mindset. And where we want to see this go is a situation where every child that we come across and ultimately, all Nigerian children have the opportunity to gain the skills that they need to be able to thrive in a world that is full of uncertainty. And not only to be able to thrive, but to be able to shape that world by themselves. And for us, this begins with being able to read and write and being numerate. We've been able to articulate where it is that we want to go with this assessment in Nigeria. Kano is, um, by the 2006 census, the, the most populated state in, in Nigeria. Kano is quite important when we start talking about Nigerian children, so it, this, which is one of the reasons why it was one of the two areas that we picked. We organized community engagement sessions and in-person interviews with leaders and stakeholders in the community where we presented feedback and um, preliminary data from the assessment to them. We're in Tudun Fulani enumeration area and seated with me here are elders and community leaders from the locality. And one after the other, they passionately identified uh, some challenges affecting the quality of education in their community and what they as leaders and as citizens could do to solve the challenges identified. When we got to the third house, then we met a man and explained our mission. He directed us to a place within the neighborhood where there were lots of out-of-school children. The way teachers are teaching now, they are not teaching with passion, number one. Two, infrastructural decay is so enormous. Let's encourage government through your unit to let's emphasize small on Providing primary schools for the grassroots and the equipment. 
that they should go to Kimwe. Our problem here is that we have only one primary school in this community. And our children are many, that some have to go in the morning and others in the evening. These community leaders actually value the information that is given to them through the assessments. They have been part of the process. They have been fully involved in the process and coming together as a community to discuss the findings really has been an eye-opener for them. As a parent, you should be concerned about how your child is faring at school and not think that sending them to school means you've handed them over to the government. We've had fantastic reception from the parents. The parents have really welcomed our team, some of them saying that this is the first time something like this has happened. Um, they've been able to actually see their children attempt to read and do simple um, maths and, and literacy assessments. And this mirrors the experience that we had in Lagos. So at least this tells us that all across Nigeria, parents recognize the value of education, even more so when they see that their children have or are learning and are expressing the competencies that are required to make them have uh, a meaningful con contribution to society. This intervention of Land Nigeria may perhaps expose what are likely the problems that hinder such uh, progress in education. It is a very successful issue here because not only doing the research, I know we want it to be a continual process by monitoring and evaluating the performance of our children in, in government schools and even even doing primary school. When you talk about education, there's no any barrier between private school. Education is education. Let everybody go back to where they come from and the areas where they are overseeing to educate them on this. Apart from that, when we also get back to our offices, we will explain to the SBMC members who are not present here today. So, you can see the multiplier effect. By the time I talk to my people, they will all go back to their MGAs and spread the news. Please, guys, I beg of you, sustain this interest and this determination to work with this initiative. Uh, I'm hoping that if we can do that, then we know we are really focusing and bringing to the fore something that is of fundamental uh, importance to this country, which is education.